Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons building an in house Matthew Mercer. All right, so uh, I won't bury the lead here. I think that in house Matthew Mercer, I think they are trying to build an in house Matthew Mercer, and they are, and that person is B. Dave Walters. All right, so let's talk this all the way through. Uh, so basically, yesterday was D and D Direct, an absolutely cat like it's it's a cataclysmic success. Um, when I saw D and D Direct yesterday, I was so shocked with how powerfully and effective um, Wizards of the Coast was able to communicate and say we have the best t- tabletop role playing game brand in the world, bar none. Um, we're light years ahead of anybody else in our market. We are having success with AAA video games. We are having success with the source books. We are having we are having a moment in miniatures, right? Uh, we are just, you know, we are the thing, and we're tired of people disclaiming us as lame or secondary or not the best. We are the best, and we're proving it today with real announcements, drumbeat announcements of just levels of success that nobody else in the industry is even approaching, right? So I was just really just stunned with how powerful the communication uh, was, just, how, you know, how awesome the content they were talking about was, how well executed it was. You know, Ray Winninger was nowhere to be seen, which is helpful, right? Like, it was just, it was amazing. I was so impressed with it, right? And one of the, one of the things that was a massive part of that success was the presenters. There were two presenters for the d and Direct, B. Dave Walters and Anna Prosser, right? And so you kind of have to talk about people attributes at this point. So B. Dave Walters is an incredibly, he is confident, he is charismatic, and he is intelligent, which is, I've been saying is what is the platform for the best DMs in the world for a while, right? He has powerful presence. He also is a black male, right? And this is important because when people look at the history of Dungeons and Dragons, they're like, oh, you mean that hobby that a bunch of white males play, middle-aged white males play? And we're like, that's not the hobby, man. Like, it's, it's more than that, right? Um, and But we got to put up some real proof that that's true. Like, that D&D, they said it multiple times in D&D Direct. They're like, D&D for, is for everyone, right? And that's nice to say, but, you know, when you have Wes Schneider and uh, Jeremy Crawford and Chris Perkins and Ray Winninger and you know and then the list goes on and, and James Wyatt and you're like is it is it is it for everybody or is it just for middle aged white man right like you know like so so B Day Walters is everything you want in a presenter everything you and and an actual functioning boots on the ground dungeon master right like very real right and so basically he is the golden ticket. Right, like I think Wizards Coast is like, oh my gosh, this is the face of Dungeons and Dragons for the future, right? And it's great because he has presence, right? People, he, when you when you put the camera on him, people want to hear him talk, right? And they're not like, oh, I don't want to see this anymore, right? Um, Hillary Clinton, famous, I like, I I knew two years before she ran that she was going to lose because every time she gets on camera, every time she talks, she has so little charisma, so little presence. That people are just repulsed by her personally. I like, you know, and I like, and by the end, people were furious. They were furious at, at half the things she had said. She hadn't won any new voters, and she was barely clinging on to people who were loyal to not her, but the Democrat Party, right? And so, but, but, you know, B. Dave Walters, he's funny, he has a great smile, he has, you know, like, he gets on the camera, and you don't want to shut it off, right? Like, you're like, oh, I, I can listen to this person for 20 minutes. Right, and not everybody has that. Right, like there's some dude uh, on the internet who's just talking about the royal jelly. Do you have the royal jelly? You know, like what the queen has. You know, the queen bee. Right, you know, you're like it's a thing. Presence is really important to America. Like you have to win people over before you open your mouth. Right, and that, it it shouldn't be this way, but it is it, America, and it's it doesn't make any sense to pretend this isn't the way it is. Right, like um, and presence is important. Right, it's just all there is to it. Okay, so B. Dave Walters has presence. He is a he is a good dungeon master and a real dungeon master, not like, you know, are you a dungeon master? I don't know. He's legit. He's a very real dungeon master. Right, 
And so, so basically, you have all this in one person. And I think what Wizards of the Coast is like, oh my gosh, we have lost control of our brand, right? Because when you ask the question today, who is the face of Dungeons and Dragons? Without a doubt, it's Matthew Mercer. And he is not a Wizards of the Coast employee, right? And that is a huge problem for them, right? So B. Dave Walters gives them this possibility of somebody who has not all of the president presence of Matthew Mercer, but a really good amount of presence of Matthew Mercer, who's willing to come alongside and actually work with Dungeons and Dragons. Not like Matthew Mercer, where there's this big, giant question mark, right? Where, where it's like, oh, are you going to try to spin up a competing um, you know, tabletop role-playing game and try to break off from Dungeons and Dragons? Because every time you finish a campaign, there's this big question mark of, you know, there's like this, they're playing chicken, right? Like, Matthew Mercer's like, mm, maybe I'm big enough to not need Dungeons and Dragons. And Dungeons and Dragons is like, you know what? Every time you try to do anything that isn't 5e, nobody cares. So, like, stop pretending that we're not your, that we aren't the the real bread and butter that you are making your bones off of, right? And so there's just a lot of tension, right? And so I think Wizards of the Coast is looking at B. Dave Walters and saying, oh, yeah, there you go, right? That's a Matthew Mercer that we, that will work with us right? That isn't going to always be playing coy and that we don't need to worry about. Is this our best friend? Uh, Matthew Mercer has become a frenemy, right? He's a friend and an enemy, right? Like a frenemy, right? And that's, and B. Dave Walters is not that. He is a dyed-in-the-wool dungeon master, just like Mercer. He actually has presence, just like Mercer, but he's willing, he, he seems to have a very genuine, real loyalty, to 5th edition, right? And to Dungeons and & Dragons. And not just 5th edition. Dungeons & Dragons now, right? Like, he will be there when 6 drops, right? We don't know when that's going to happen, but I I really think B. Dave Walters is, is a... I think Wizards of the Coast is building an in-house Mercer. Do you see it? Do you see what I'm saying? Do you think they're... Do you think they've recognized the need for an in-house Mercer? And do you think they're trying to make B. Dave Walters their in-house Mercer, Matthew Mercer? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.